Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So guys, did you know Selenko is making a stringing machine? Stay tuned. All right, guys, coffee sponsor of today is someone bought me a coffee today. Uh, I guess there's a lot of someones out there that just doesn't want to be known or uh, or a shout shouted out. So uh, if you want to be my someone who buys me a coffee, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. And you could be that someone special who buys me a coffee today. Thank you so much in advance. And uh, Thank you to all the all the someone's out there in the world. I appreciate you. Okay, yeah, someone seems to be a, a very popular in buying me coffee, so I appreciate all those someone's out there. Um, so yes, Selenko teased me uh, right around February, saying we're gonna come out with a stringing machine, and I'm like, really? And I was like, can you show me a picture of it? And they actually showed me um, photos of it when they're uh, kind of putting it together, how it's going to look. And I was like, yeah, let me know when it's ready. Well, the time has come. It's ready. And it's actually here. I just put it together. Uh, I already strung one racket on it. And uh, I'm going to show you around the machine. All right, All right guys. So... Selenko, Ferrari, Ducati, stringing machine going on here today. So to me, with the red head here and the red lines here, it looks like a Ferrari to me. If my man Dan was here, he'd be like, that looks like a Ducati because he's in the bikes. So I kind of see where Selenko is going with this. It's it doesn't look like any stringing machine out there. So let's see if uh, it performs that way too. Is it made in Italy? Made in Taiwan, eh, just as good. Anyways, so as you can see, it's a very sleek machine. I can definitely see that you can travel with this machine. So for traveling tennis stringers, this would be a good option. It's pretty small comparatively to most stringing machines. Um, I mean, it looks like it can be handled pretty easily. I was able to move it pretty, um, you know, easily. It was not too heavy, easily transportable, which is very important. So let's take a look at the outside of the machine, okay? So the first thing you see, let's get down here. We got a nice sturdy base. That's probably one of the heaviest parts of the machine since it has to hold it together. Okay, check out this. We got the crank going on here for height adjustment. So this makes it taller. Let's see if Leonard's gonna string on this later. Let me get it down to Leonard's height. Oh, there, that, that's as far as it goes. Um, it's all right. I'll get him a telephone book later. It's okay, it's okay. So let me get it back to, uh, so you could take the handle out if you don't want it. Uh, and it gets in your way and just put it into the thing. But I'm gonna crank it back up to my height here, about six foot tall give or take six inches or so. <laughs> and, it, it, and if you want the handle out of the way so the strings don't get caught, boom. Okay, so I don't like the strings getting caught here, so I like to tuck it in and uh, so it doesn't get, the circles don't get stuck right here. On this side, we got string reel holders. So if you string a lot of common strings or your own strings pretty often, 
you just put your reels here and then you pull the string through here, okay? This can be removed. So if you don't like it, just unscrew it and just take it off, okay? I personally don't use it, but I know a lot of people that do. All right, it just kind of makes it look cool. Looking at the top of the machine here, I'm gonna bring you closer a little bit. Bring it in a little bit. So, adjustment for the racket head size right here. The little adjustments for these to make sure that 12 and six o'clock is stable. So these are pretty common, pretty sturdy here. So the, the important part that I like is that these are quick release clamps. So you got there, right? You hit the button, it releases, all right? Or you can drop it, same thing, both sides. So quick release, easy, fast clamps. The other thing about the machine is if you want to adjust these, there's actually a, a, a dial down here to just loosen it and then you can move these base. So both of these can be moved like this way. Tool tray, check out the tool trays. You can put awls, pliers, whatever you use right here. Now, Let's move it over to this way. All right, guys, so let's talk about the instrument panel or the dashboard of this Solinko tennis stringing machine. Um, let's start by that will increase and decrease your poundage. If you would like to go faster or slower, you would adjust the speed. So you got low, middle, and high. I like high. This pounds or kilos, if you wanted to change the kilos, you hold the button down and it changes to kilos. Change it back to pounds, hold it down, changes to pounds, okay? Now, pre-stretch, if you wanted your string auto pre-stretched, it's at 0% right now. You go once, you go 5%, two, 10%. If you really want 15%, that is an option. So it'll do kind of like a double pull for you on there. You can even have 20%. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at zero. If you don't want it to beep, okay, like that, every time it pulls and gets to where it needs to go, just hit the mute button and it won't, it'll be quiet for you, okay? The not feature is for the last main, the last mains, first cross and last cross in which it will pull an extra 10% for you, okay? All you have to do is hit the knot feature and it will automatically go up 10%, okay? Now, let me show you something really cool about this stringing machine here. Look, you got a runaway carriage, right? You got a runaway carriage, I gotta stop it. It just stopped. So for those of you who have like rackets that are weird angles and don't want it to twist too much, you could just hit the brake. I'm gonna let go of the brake. And then it'll stay at that angle and then pull it for you. So, and you can do that, I wanna say anytime. Now, let's take a look at the, uh, the head of it all. So this is the puller of the string so it comes through here there is no diablo diablo is the thing that you know is that thing you wrap around and you come through this has a leveler when you put it through here and hit the button this will rise and it'll go back so it'll level off the string without having to use a diablo and then pull the tension on it so this particular one is triggered by you know anything here there is a button which is this one And after doing a racket on it, this seems to be very smooth and there is no delay. Some of the other ones that I've used that have this type of mechanism is that there is a delay on it. Um, when I hit the button, sometimes it doesn't 
understand that I want it to go. This one does not have that problem. This goes when I want it to go, which is every time. Let's talk about one of the most important parts of a stringer. Where to put your tools, what kind of tools you get. I'm gonna show you what you get with this uh, stringing machine here. So just some hex keys for making some little adjustments. These are extra pads. Uh, if you're doing like a badminton racket, it, it, it goes here. It slides, it pulls and slides right into these four slots. Badminton, we got squash, uh, anything else you want to string, uh, little tools. You know, I'm not sure what that's for. I've never used it in, in all of my career. Uh, various hex keys that you need for making little adjustments or little fixes. Again, I've never used these before. Um, I, I, all of these machines are typically very reliable and they really never, I mean, never say never, but you know, I've never really had to do major work on it. And if I did, it's once in a blue moon. Um, this is the major hex key that we put the machine together with. So it, it's, uh, but you get all this and it's probably just gonna sit in your closet uh, forever. So what kind of tools? did we get with it all right so we got our cutter in which I'm gonna put right there we got our plier needle nose plier angled we're gonna put right there oops just dropped my all I'm gonna put my all set up here that's probably all I'm going to use unless you, so this one is for like the stringers that use the all to, uh, to do the crosses with. I'm not going to use that. Actually, did they give us a good, they gave us a pretty good starting clamp. That's really tight. I like that. Now check this out. We got more storage. It's not just this and that. So these are for here doing like a badminton racket or something that needs it to be longer, you would put this here. And there's both two extra ones there. And you know, I'm gonna put this right there. But extra storage, always good. I like that they actually have you set up for everything. All right guys, should we string a racket on it? Well, it's a, Happens so that I got a blackout extended 300 here that needs some strings. So I'll show you, show you how to mount it. Um, I should bring it in a little bit here. So super easy to mount. We got the, the big, the big spin wheels here, as I call it, get that one tight, get that one tight, get the little ones in, make sure it's centered. Okay. So we go little, big, Little, big, little, big, little. We're good now. We're good. Okay. Set the tension. Looks like 54. Confidential 16L on the mains. Dialing it up to 54. I want it fast. Pounds. So this is going to be a hybrid. So it's going to be, you know, the one thing I love about new stringing machines is the clamps. You can't beat a new clamp because you know it's not gonna slip, at least for 50 to 100 string jobs because the teeth are new, it's gonna be pretty tight and you don't even need to put a lot of tension on it. So, right, you know that's gonna hold. Let me show you one quick thing here. Bring it, bring it in a bit. So check this out. The dial here is, you hear that? If you wanna loosen that up, you hit this button here and then you can loosen. You hit the button and then you loosen the other way. But other than that, it's only gonna get tight. Uh, you can probably hear it. See, hear that? Right, if you wanna loosen, you have to actually hit the button and then turn it looser. So you know that it will not loosen on its own. A lot of the older stringing machines, as I'm stringing, loosen by itself. Therefore, every 
I don't know, every 10th or 20th pull, I have to kind of adjust a little bit because I feel that it's not as tight when I actually um, drop it down, okay? So great thought on their, um, you know, great thought on their uh, processing of uh, what stringers need. Yeah, nothing beats a brand new stringer, guys, nothing. So check it out. It just felt it. It just goes. Fifty four pounds, dialing it up. Really smooth, really fast. Uh, yeah. I'm enjoying it yeah, everything about it is just ease easy they it's a well thought out machine um, I'm I'm glad they took a little while to to you know think out the little things and they they probably talked to a lot of stringers is what I can see and the stringers pointed out certain little things like storage because most stringers, where the first thing they do when they get in, they do this. They take the phone and they put it on the machine. So they can check their texts while they string. Or when it flashes up, it's like right there. You can look down and see what's going on and hopefully you'll skip a beat but maybe not two beats you know what i mean check your messages and kind of keep going but everything is super solid on the machine just got a text so i just glanced over probably wasted two seconds doing that but not too bad Solid machine. And if you guys are tired of the Diablos wrapping around the thing, don't need to worry about it now. They don't have one. All right, so I'm at the last mains. So I'd like to save them both for last if you guys have watched my previous videos of stringing. So this was done at 54, so I hit the knot feature. It's going to 59 now, so that's five pounds. Finish stringing the racket, and I'll be right back to you. Okay. So, just uh, finished up. How long did that take me? Not very long. Like 15 minutes max there. Whoa. Hear that? It racket is singing. Um, guys, if you are thinking about a premium home stringer, definitely look into this one. It's one of the best stringers I've ever used. And you guys know I've been stringing for 35 years. And it's super user friendly. Um, I mean, I really can't complain too much because I'm known to kind of do that. Or if you're starting a tennis stringing business, definitely look into these guys. Definitely look into Selenko. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great stringer. Uh, the Ferrari of stringers, can I say? Thank you, Selenko, for uh, sending me one of these. So these machines were the official stringers of the Kalamazoo 
junior tournaments in Michigan. So they had all these lined up for all the kids that are in that major, you know, major good tournament. Um, I want to thank Selinko for hooking it up and letting me try out the machine. Like I said, if you're in the market for a new stringing machine, higher end one, obviously, this is the Ferrari, the Ducati of stringing machines. If you want to, if you're going to open up a store, definitely look into this as uh, your stringer, primary stringer. Get a couple of these. It'll def you, you definitely will not be disappointed. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Oh, I got you, Rob, buddy. Look, I got you, Rob. Oh, man. I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. Thank you for, thank you for the weekly lesson, dude. Oh, I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. Now, if you want a patient pro, just like Coach Rob, hey, play your court is the place. The, your pro can come to you, right? They can come out to your site. All you need to do is go to playercourt.com. You can even get a discount there. Playercourt.com forward slash tennis spit. Harry, are you sure you're right-handed? <laughs>